Jackie Arndt, you're returning, and we chatted a little bit before that for last year was your first time racing here in Louisville. Now you come and return, does the fact that you know more about it work in your favor, or do you think it's it becomes a little bit more of a task because you know exactly what you're getting into? Yeah, uh, it's nice to be back. Uh, obviously I have the same thing with kind of like the good vibes, good memories um, from the race last year. I like this course, so it doesn't really scare me. There's worse courses out there um, as far as like, you know, the surprise element being a good thing. This one I think it is helpful to know the course and be comfortable with it. So it's nice knowing what I'm getting into this year. Pass the microphone down to Michelle Gailey as a, as a bit of an X factor. The, the, is, uh, as Phil Liggett often refers to somebody as the danger man, do you think that your early success in this distance will prove useful on Sunday, and what are your expectations for the race? Um, over, over the last year, I have, I have done a fair bit of Ironman racing, including uh, New York a couple of weeks ago. So I don't know whether that's going to work actually for or against me. I'm probably going to be carrying a bit of fatigue, but... I've definitely got a lot more experience over the years, and I'm just going to go out there and see what I can do. And shifting all the way to the other side of the table, we talked about how many Ironman you have under your belt, Jason. I'll hand you this microphone. Um, your experience, it speaks for itself. What, uh, what sort of thoughts go through your mind as you approach this, this 70th race? Um, I'm not a very smart man, so it helps not to think a lot. Um, and all I've got is experience, so let's <laughs> just run away from that. Uh, look, it, it's... Yeah, I don't tend to get too nervous with, with these things anymore. Um, the, the biggest limiting factor is myself. I tend to make stupid mistakes when I really shouldn't be making mistakes. But um, it's nice to try and mix it up a bit. Bree Wee, you've raced with us here before. I think we were chatting about the, the year that we were both here, and I think it was, what, 104? You remember that year, Chris? 104? Yeah, 2010. And then, yeah, and then the following, the following year, I think it was 80-something, and people were like, oh, it's so nice. Um, You've raced here before. If it's expected to be low 90s on Sunday. What does that mean to you? It means no wetsuit, so I really appreciate that. Um, I'm definitely not a cold weather girl. Like he said, I grew up in Florida, but lived the last 10 years in Hawaii, so I'm extremely scared of cold, and I really embrace the heat, so the hotter the better for me. I was um, reviewing the race program. You can catch this. Got a lot of great information in here about not only our pro, pro athletes, but all of our age groupers. It indicates that the typical athlete will burn as many as 7,700 calories during the race on Sunday. And it also indicates that the typical athlete will consume about 3,100 calories. Chris McDonald, where's the other 4,600 calories? I don't know, because I'm still carrying them there. <laughs> Talk a little bit about your nutritional plan and how that works. You know, what do you need to do to make your, set yourself up for the run and make your way to the finish line? Yeah, honestly, I think we've... Probably, um, the, the three of us here, I know for sure, burn a little more than 7,700 calories in a day. And I'm pretty sure throughout the whole day, we're taking a lot more than 3,100 as well. Maybe not Pat, he's a little smaller, but... Um, you know, I think that for, for anyone attempting their first Ironman, you just have to set yourself up on the bike. Um, you can't take in nutrition on the swim, so, you know, the cycling's not an impact sport, so it's a lot easier to digest food. Um, so it's all about setting yourself up for the run on the bike and for me personally I You know the run is just a, a how I feel nutrition plan. Um, I don't have a set you know, every 30 minutes or 20 minutes it, um, You know being an impact sport and your stomach's just jiggling up and down constantly you really have to go by feel and As, as hard as it is to say that just comes with experience um, so I know, all, you know, every one of the professionals is, is up here has raised Iron Man before and we've got it fairly well figured out. Please hang up and try again.